Jennifer Mayamba Lantende, a microbiologist by profession, and I work with Uganda Industrial Research Institute. Um, been here for 18 years now. I have a master's degree in microbiology and plant pathology, and currently right now I'm the lead scientist in the mushroom technology section. In URI, we are working on different types of mushrooms. Uh, before we've been working on like oyster mushroom, shiitake, paddy straw, white button, and another mushroom was supposed to be Ganodamal cedar. So uh, STI, which is Science, Technology and Innovation, put a call for concept proposal submission. And um, since it was a very good uh, research key area, I put in my proposal on mushroom species in human prostate and breast cancer treatment using particularly Ganodamal cedar. Uh, when I put in my submission, I was called to present the concept, which I did, and then later on I was called um, to put in the full proposal, which I did and also presented, and later on I was given the grant award of 200 million Ugandan shillings to go ahead and do the project. Since we are talking about Ganodamal sedum, why Ganodamal sedum? Ganodamal sedum is a, a cancer mushroom, a cancer mushroom, and uh, it has been really researched on. That's a very good remedy, specifically for cancer and other diseases like diabetes, like HIV, and the rest. But um, as after winning this grant. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to go to the wild, the whole of Uganda, because whatever we have been getting uh, are products from outside Uganda. And we are looking at how can we domesticate our own so that we can make these products instead of just importing them. So we are going to go throughout the whole of Uganda, pick the samples, do identification from all the samples of Gandama to identify the Gandama lucidum yes species and then after that we shall go ahead and do the products of Ganodama lucidum that we have been importing for example the capsules of Ganodama lucidum the tablets of Ganodama lucidum the creams the lotions and after that we are going to do preclinical trials or studies on these products uh, with the mice and after that we shall have to go ahead and do the clinical trial, I mean the clinical studies themselves on humans and we shall legalize with the National Drug Authority and put all the products on the market. What we are going, what we are planning to do with Ganodama Lucidum, after that range of uh, tests and research, we are looking at adding value. First of all, it can be consumed in form of powder where the sick uh, patients can put the powder on tea or hot water. We are going to make Ganodama sedum coffee because sometimes it comes a bit bitter. So for easy consumption, we are going to make it in form of coffee, in form of tea. And then we are also looking at uh, serving other industries, for example, the cosmetic industry. Ganodama sedum is well known for its good health values and longevity because when you look at our sisters and brothers in China they, they stay longer and yet they are not broken down it's because they use this Ganodama lucidum very well and because of that attribute we are looking at also uh, making uh, the spores the spores of Ganodama lucidum we extract oil and that oil is going to be served in the cosmetic industry for making the lotions the creams basing soaps and all other things. Ganodama sedum has a lot of uses that have been really worked on and studied. For example, Ganodama sedum is anti-cancer, that one we have already talked about it. It is antiviral, antifungal, and antibiotic. It works as an antioxidant. It is very good for buffering the liver, especially for people who are taking toxic um, medication Sometimes, like KRVs, you find that uh, they can injure the liver. But if you take Ganodama lucidum, it can buffer the liver and protect it. 
that even if someone takes a medication that's a bit toxic and very strong, they will still not be injured uh, on their internal organs. Also, Gardamal sedam is a very good um, antidepressant uh, um, uh, product. We are having a lot of uh, people going through depression, but it has been proven that if you take this Gardamal sedam, it can really help you on the anxiety and the depression. So there are quite a lot of stuff that we are looking at. We are also going to go into making the toothpaste because it is very good as antimicrobial, like those uh, microbes that affect our, our teeth. We are going to look at uh, also making the supplements. Ganoderma lucidum is very good as an uh, immunity booster. We are looking at also making the immunity boosters that we are just importing. We shall also start making for ourselves. For every type of species, for example, Ganoderma, Agaricus, what we call white button, they have very many strains under them. And it's not good for public to just go and pick because you are seeing Ganodama sedam looks like this. You just pick it from the wild and take it. We have two types, edible and poisonous. So under Ganodama, we have very many species. But specifically for this, which is edible and medicinal, we are looking at Ganodama sedam. Yes, so it's very important for you to be sure of which species you are picking because if you're not sure, you end up uh, poisoning yourself. In Uganda Industrial Research Institute, we have worked on various kinds of mushrooms which are very good economically and also um, uh, in a medicinal field. For example, we started with oyster mushrooms and uh, we have done a lot of trainings in all districts of Uganda. We have done trainings uh, the university students, uh, entrepreneurs, individuals, families, and now we are reaching a level of now doing, doing uh, value addition uh, on oyster mushroom. We are doing value addition, uh, for example, making oyster wine, oyster mushroom wines. We are doing uh, oyster mushroom baby uh, porridges, instant oyster mushroom soups, uh, we are doing cosmetics, uh, baby jelly, uh, petroleum, also from oyster mushrooms. Yes, but we have also worked on other mushrooms, which we have developed their cultivation protocol. For example, we have paddy straw mushroom, which is called a Chinese mushroom. We have also worked on white button mushroom, which is, I think, the first um, uh, globally selling on the global market, uh, the white button mushroom, which is also very good for our health. We have also worked on shiitake mushroom. Shiitake has a very good market in, the, in Europe, and we have also tried to develop a, a cultivation protocol for shiitake. According to the work that we have put in and what we are doing as Uganda Industrial Research Institute, we are seeing mushroom becoming a cash, a cash crop in Uganda like any other uh, crop um, because elsewhere mushroom is a very big industry because it has a lot of uh, products we are looking at and also the uses so in five years to come we are looking at mushroom uh, being an industry and a big one in Uganda uh, substituting importation and promoting exportation in the years to come we are also looking at uh, uh, Yuri and us scientists um, writing books on how to use mushrooms in the form of transferring the knowledge, uh, publishing in journals, collaborating with international uh, also uh, institution, and uh, doing a lot of um, sensitization. I want to thank my team. I'm not working alone. We are a team. They are very active. And uh, also, Yuri has given us really great support all through. Yes, we are so grateful to STI, Science, Technology and Innovation, for the grant. I know they will continue giving us the funding and supporting us. Yes. So, if you have been fearing to offer science subjects, no, you don't need to fear. They are all easy, the same to women and males. You can do sciences. You just need to, to love what you're doing, have a good positive attitude and put in hard work.
in everything. Thank you.